Hi, this is uh, Chin Win from Finale, and today what we're going to do uh, is show you how to create a product look lookup table for your ShipStation order. Right now, for many of our ShipStation customers, um, they sell on multiple marketplaces. So they may sell the same product on eBay, on Amazon, and their own online store. Unfortunately, a lot of these marketplaces don't you don't have too much flexibility on your SKU numbering convention. So what we're going to do is show you how to create a product looker table so that way when a product gets sold on Amazon, it gets properly decremented in your inventory level. Um, so let's go through that example really quickly. So, so in this exercise, you know, I went ahead and created a um, new product called a yellow polo shirt. And as you see here, the product ID is 101035. So to create the product looker table, um, you first open Excel, and this illustration here is essentially I have four columns, and you know I have two extra columns just for illustration purposes. But uh, let's just go through that really quickly. So, for example, let's say you have um, you're selling the same yellow polo shirt on three different marketplaces: eBay, Amazon, and Magento. Um, so, as you see here, the product ID is what we created in Finale, which is one zero zero three five, and it's populated in each each column for each cell and the scan key is the, the SKU that is that is associated to that product in you know various marketplaces so I just made it some scan keys for these illustrations but as you see here there's three different scan keys that are tied into your your product ID so we're doing one product now but I imagine when you set up your file um, initially you know, you'll be able to export uh, a lot of these SKUs from eBay and Amazon, so that way it's very easy for you to create a large um, Excel file in a short period of time. So but for this example, we created one product. Uh, so let's copy these two. Like I said, columns A and B were, column D were for just for simply for illustration. So you copy these two, and you go back to um, the finale, and what we're doing is we're going to import um, these records. And what we want to do is click on the fourth button, which is to import, uh, to batch, create, and scan lookup tables. And again, it's a simple copy and paste operation where we hit control, you know, control V. And as you see here, we have three rows, the scan key, and these are uh, the SKUs that are tied back to the marketplaces. One for eBay, one for one for Amazon, one for eBay, one for Magento. And as you see, the product IDs are the same. We hit next, hit commit. And let's just do a quick check. So if I type in yellow, here we go. So here's the three scan keys. And so we're all set up. And, and so that way, when you make a, a, a sale from Amazon, you know, this scan key will be associated with this product ID, so you know, we'll be able to know where to decrement your inventory levels. So this is how you um, have, you're able to have multiple SKUs that tie back to the same product ID. Thank you.